Hey, it's Nate Zones here with the Big Game Hunting Series brought to you by Colorado Parks and Wildlife. We've had a lot of questions about glassing and when we get out in field scouting, we're gonna be using our optic spotting scope binoculars for a lot of that, looking for bedding grounds, looking for you know feeding areas, looking for water holes, uh, and looking for animals most of all. I know that everybody thinks about glassing. Hey, you look through binoculars, how hard can it be? I wanna walk you through some of the tips and tricks that I do when I'm looking through optics to become better at glassing, find more more animals, find more of everything, and just be a more successful hunter. So watch this clip right now, I hope it helps you. And again, coming soon, we're gonna be in field doing all of our scouting. You know, one of the biggest steps to becoming a better and more successful hunter is really the use of binoculars or optics, even a spotting scope, and really truly learning how to glass. Now, I can tell you, looking back at my hunts, even from this year, I had two types of glassing. I had really thick conditions, more in a whitetail situation, where I was literally glassing movement. I'm looking at 100 yards, 200 yards, I see movement, I try to pick apart an animal coming through the, the trees and the thicket. Then I have more of that western hunt, or even like my whitetail hunt in Kansas, where I'm looking long distance. You know, where with my binoculars, I'm looking a couple thousand yards out, or even when I'm using my spotting scope, I'm looking miles out. But truly, becoming a better person or, or hunter behind glass is a major key in creating more success. Finding animals, building patterns, setting yourself up for success. So I wanna give you one quick tip. So many times when, when I watch new hunters or people even new behind glass start to glass, they look at a hillside and they are just looking all over. And they're looking for discolor, they're looking for movement but in reality the couple things that you have to do number one understand the size of your target so if you're looking for an elk or a deer or whatever animal you're trying to find find something across that hill and break it apart look at the base of a tree and understand how big a, a tree root or main core of that trunk is look at a rock look at a, a car look at something that you know the size of and then break it down and say okay if that's that big how big is the deer? How big is the elk? You have to understand the perspective of the size of your target so you know what to look for. So many times I think people are looking and they expect their animal to be larger than it actually is. So that's your number one step. Number two, break apart your, your field of view. So when I'm looking at a hillside or looking at a field, uh, I don't just randomly look all over the place. I start at one side and I glass up and down. So in that vertical measure, so I go up, and I scoot over and I move over 90%. So I still leave 10% of that objective on the stuff I've already glassed and I go down. I get to the bottom, move over 90%, go back up again. For whatever reason, the human eye and mind, when we start to go left to right, so many times we actually drop off. And through the course of glassing a hillside, you will miss things. Force yourself to go up and down. Start at one side, go up, move over again 90%, leaving just a little bit over there, go down and vice versa until you've covered the entire field. If number one, you start to understand the size of your target, number two, you pick it apart in that manner, I promise you, you're gonna see a lot more game and you're gonna be a better hunter and more successful hunter at the end of the day.